So we provide an enterprise loyalty solution, uh, which includes referral marketing and user generated content. And of course, we're focused on helping you increase retention, but also think in terms of engagement and lifetime value. Um, today, I'm going to really be covering, you know, why you want to focus on your best customers um, and, and really thinking about getting you to think about incent and rewarding the actions you want them to take. And, you know, and please be creative, be innovative. Don't just be the traditional, what we refer to as earn and burn. Sure, you, you buy something, you earn some points. Um, so why is loyalty important? It's really simple. It's that 80-20 rule. Focus on the 20% of customers that are generating 80% of your revenue. And as Jake mentioned, there's lots of shifts happening. Uh, the McKinsey report's really amazing to see what happened and what we learned from 2008. That shift is already happening. Customers are trying new brands. So really, what are you doing to retain your customers? And loyalty is important, whether you're B2C or B2B, right? You're focusing on your best customers, those that buy more, buy more often, and are already brand loyal. And so why is it important? Certainly it's retention and, and certainly as the Max Prairie Wings and Meat Eater examples show, it's about lifetime value. It's certainly um, increasing the conversion for your best customers and ultimately more brand advocates uh, certainly equates to um, acquisition uh, for you as well. The impact of loyalty is real. This is um, averages across our entire customer base and this is a comparison of members of the loyalty program versus those who, excuse me, who aren't. Um, and so it ripples across the board um, in, in terms of AOV, uh, repeat purchases, um, and, and ultimately lifetime value. So here at Annex Cloud, we are always talking about retaining valuable customers. And we're thinking about, you know, this is really critical for businesses to put a spotlight on, right? To the ability to segment and engage with purpose, right? And, and these are your most valuable and profitable customers. So this should be a core strategic priority, not just during an economic crisis. And the analysts agree, right? Ultimately, what Gartner is saying here is you need to focus on the right customers. And there's a lot of stories of how loyalty is impactful and how powerful it can be. Here's two really good examples. Um, they used their loyalty programs, United and American, um, as collateral to obtain these in the neighborhood of $5 billion loans um, uh, uh, federal loans. So their loyalty programs are based somewhere in the 15 to $20 billion range, right? So take a minute and think about their loyalty programs are actually worth more than all that they own, all of their airplanes. Anyhow, that's, that's, those are lots of zeros in those numbers. So loyalty really, really can be impactful um, for, for a business beyond where you may think loyalty lands. But there's also some loyalty miss stories, right? What happens when you don't pay attention to your best customers? This is focused on J. Crew, but sadly there are, there are other stories like this to tell. Um, for them, they actually stopped paying attention to their best customers before COVID. Again, they, re, they ignored those customers who were buying more and more often and were already brand loyal and ultimately um, landed in a bankruptcy. So I've brought three of our customers uh, to show you loyalty in action, some of our best practices. Um, Elf Cosmetics, beautiful brand. They weave the loyalty in experience throughout. What we're looking at is a landing page of, of explaining what the program is. And I love, one, the program's not just loyalty program, it's the Elf Beauty Squad. They wanna bring you into the brand. Um, where BS, where no BS beauty rules and loyalty becomes royalty, right? They know their customers, they're having fun with it. As I scroll down the page, I learn about why would I wanna become part of the, part of the program. So lots of best practices here to, to really drive the, the value and benefit for you as, as a consumer. And I'm going to give them some props, um, bonus points, this bottom right corner. Um, I don't know if you can read it on, on the screen here, but it says new members only want free shipping on your first order, join the Elf Beauty Squad, right? So incenting you uh, to become part of their program. So not only be clear about what the program is, now I'm going to log in and show you the user experience. Be consistent. Again, it's, they're always on brand. Um, now that I'm logged in, it's a little bit hard to see, but it says here, um, hi, Wendy, you have 50 beauty points. This is persistent throughout my on-site shopping experience um, as well. So um, I'm logged in. We drop right into uh, the admin panel. So this Elf Beauty Squad, this is what I'm looking at. So it gives me a quick uh, update of what it is that I'm looking at. Um, I'm going to click through um, a couple of these tabs. So how can I earn points? So this is that be creative, don't just let them spend money with you, but really incent them for actions that you want to take, that you want them to take, right? Have fun. What's unique about your business where you can create some engagement with your customers? Um, 
And certainly social media is a big play for um, e.l.f. Cosmetics. So they're going to reward you by connecting your social media accounts with them. And don't worry, we've got some guardrails so that there's no gamification issues. I'm sure I can refer a friend, but only to a month, right? So the, the, the other tab here that I'm going to focus on is the re uh, receipt upload. This is huge. This is really omni-channel. It's huge for e.l.f. because they get to learn who their offline customers are. You can buy e.l.f. cosmetics anywhere, be it Amazon or Kohl's, doesn't matter. You are rewarded for being brand loyal. And we make it really easy. You can take a picture of your receipt and upload it, or you can forward a receipt. It doesn't matter. Making it really convenient to stay loyal to the brand. The second example that I'm going to show you is Diodario. Um, like Elf Cosmetics, a great name to their loyalty program. If you're not familiar with Diodario, they make accessories and, and strings for instruments. Um, their program is called the Player's Circle. What I love about the best practice they've followed is right here, the Player's Circle. This is the persistent menu navigation, makes it really easy to find. Um, it's a fun name, right? They really know who their audience is. And in logging in, the biggest call to action they want is they want you to register their product. And a bit like Elf Cosmetics, they don't care where you buy their products. You can support your local music store, buy direct from them, or even on Amazon. What they want you to do is to register your product. And that being innovative, um, playback is one of their corporate initiatives. They want you to recycle your strings with them. So you get points for, re for recycling strings. And there are other things that Diodario is doing to engage with their customers. They offer, if you are a loyalty member, you can participate in sweepstakes. You have access to beta testing of new products, right? Incentives to not only be part of the loyalty program, but to engage with them. And then the final example um, of loyalty in action is tailor-made. Again, I am logged in. This is beautifully incorporated into their brand, visually engaging. I really love this dashboard. I have a sense of where I am within the loyalty program. Um, I love, well, I call it a sense of whimsy, but I think it's great. They, their tiers are called Par, Birdie, and Eagle, right? They understand who their customers are. And if I were to click this Earn Points button, um, there are lots of options, right? Again, that engagement um, and this trade your clubs in. I think of it as a trade in, trade up, of course, is, is what they're hoping you'll do, but they're going to reward you for doing that. So really, why, why loyalty? Because you really need to focus on your best customers and, and think about what actions you want them to take and then reward them, right? So leave product reviews or connect in social media or whenever life resumes to normal, attending events, right? Be creative. I know you have it in you. You can do better than the traditional earn and burn. Um, so really engage your customers where they are.